Okay, this is the main difference between data view and layout view. To me, this is the easiest way to toggle back and forth. Right now we're in data view. If we toggle over to layout view, the first thing you should notice is this, you know, quote unquote piece of paper, this virtual piece of paper. This is your 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper that this map would be set up to print on. Um, number one, you can change that in the page and print setups. You can create a default. Um, if you uncheck this use paper, whatever, printer paper settings, you can set a, a default, or uh, sorry, custom page. Um, you can make it square if you want to. You can make it huge if you want to. Um, you can change it from portrait to landscape. So that's going to change. Notice that the piece of paper here, the size of the paper changed. Our data frame didn't change. Um, it's still set up for an 8.5 by 11, but we can adjust that and then we can kind of pan it around to make it fit onto our piece of paper if that makes any sense at all. So the dotted line is our data view. This is kind of our, our data frame window. It's kind of like the opening on a mat um, that you'd set a, a photograph underneath. The data is now sitting basically underneath this, this mat opening. And so we can use our original set of tools and I could pan the data underneath that, that opening and I'm trying to kind of pan it so you can see that it's just going to truncate things or cut things off. I can use my zoom tools in layout and it doesn't affect the data frame opening, it only affects the data. So if I zoom in on that part of the country, nothing here has changed. I've just changed the zoom or the pan of the data underneath that frame. Does that kind of illustrate what I'm talking about? Now, a new set of tools opens when we open up um, Layout View. It's the Layout Toolbar. And it's got the exact same sets of tools. Zoom, um, zoom out, pan, previous extent, whole page versus you know the extent of the whole data. So they're, they're really similar, but these affect the actual piece of paper. So here I can zoom in on my data. Here I can zoom in on my map. So let's say I had a legend or a scale bar down here. It might be hard to read it, but I can zoom in on. And again, notice the shape that I'm drawing. It's going to try and fit this rectangle that I'm drawing into the opening on the data frame window. So that shape I just drew is being um, kind of set to fit in here. And again, I can go back to my previous extent, and it zooms me back out to the whole page. Or I could uh, zoom to the whole page this way. So uh, let's see, I can also pick up and move the piece of paper. So let's just say I want to move it over here a little bit on my desktop. It's, it's kind of like a physical map layout. Um, and these are the tools that would allow you to do those things, whereas these guys only affect the data within the data frame. So they're separate. I hope that makes sense. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say. Questions, let me know.